This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Meditation Medallion. This design is stitched by first starting with a large circle. And the more perfect your circle is to start, the better the design will be. Mine wasn't quite so perfect, and so the rest of my design was really kind of, um, wasn't circular, it was more oval shaped. And I'd have to say it will look a lot better if you mark your starting circle than if you just kind of eyeball it. But anyway, start with the starting uh, a circle, go inside with the spiral, then work your way around with this small series of petal shapes. Just the kind of arch up and around and back to that circle. And you want to kind of space this evenly. Don't worry if it's not perfect. It's really no big deal. Then travel stitch right to the middle of one of those circles and stitch another set of circles around the same size and around the same shape working your way around to create a doubled set. And it creates a really interesting effect and a almost a nice illusion on the surface of your quilt. So the point of this design is to create a medallion, a large circular design. And uh, for people that meditate, uh, there is this kind of desire to have something to focus on, to something to concentrate on, something to see and look at. And uh, in many situations, uh, you, they use art. And uh, art that has a focus of a center point, maybe a circle. Uh, and medallions are a very common theme. And so for this design, that's kind of what was my focus. And I just created uh, bigger and bigger rings coming out with different designs. And so in this situation, I just kind of bounce back and forth with those arch shapes to create a nice ring around that center area. And then now I'm going to repeat uh, design, that uh, kind of second layer of the design, stitching these petal arch shapes. And really you can continue to expand this and make this as big as you want. I wanted to create this design to really just kind of push the envelope to see how many uh, meditation medallions I could create. And of course I can create millions of them. Uh, combining the designs together is, is infinitely fun and infinite has infinite possibilities. And you can see now I'm uh, doubling, of course, that set of arch shapes so that way it creates that same effect that we had in the center of the design now on the outside of the design. And the really fun thing about this is if you wanted to stitch yourself a meditation quilt, you could start in the center and just continue to add rows and rows and rows until it was as big as you wanted it to be. And uh, whether you pick one type of design or two types of designs or ten types of designs to stitch in rings, it's really entirely up to you. And so for the last ring of this particular meditation medallion, I'm just stitching more of those arch shapes just back and forth, trying to kind of keep it consistent. But you can see I'm stitching something circular into something square. So of course it is not going to fit perfectly. You're going to have some weird areas unless of course you're willing to make a circular quilt. And in the, that case, it's really the best thing to do if you're stitching this into a square is just to try and make it as consistent as possible. Work to those edges and stitch back and forth. It's very helpful if you leave Leave yourself enough space on the edges of your quilt to hang on to. And you can see I always leave the top of my quilt, the batting and the backing, at least an inch bigger than the space that I'm quilting. So bearing all that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish a meditation medallion. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love the over 350 videos on free motion quilting that you can find at the Free Motion Quilting Project. Check it out at freemotionproject.com.